Riley Sorolla coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Soho, and I'm gonna be showcasing patty and bun right here on Old Compton Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. Here I am at the famous Pai and Bun. Heard so much about this place. I've come at a very good time. It's three o'clock. It's not too busy. Lunch hour is over. So we're gonna see what their famous burgers are like. We've got quite a selection of burgers here. I think I might go for the smoky Robinson. So the orders are in. It's that time, guys, to go to the little boys' room and show you guys exactly what stay is in. Let's go. I'm honest, it doesn't smell very great in here. Graffiti, they got an air freshener, but it doesn't smell like there's anything in there. I can just imagine on a busy period, it will stink in there, I'm pretty sure. There's a little bit of wet work on the floor. Overall, not very impressive. Look at that manky stuff up there. It's disgusting. Even this cubicle is very tight. And I'm actually surprised, like, you've got one cubicle and one urinal and one basin. Very small toilet for a restaurant, but this is the men's and they do have a separate ladies' uh, toilets. It's time to go back upstairs. So I've come back from the bathroom to be met with fresh pineapple soda. Quite refreshing. I might order another one. Rosemary chips. Crunchy. Very crunchy. Piping hot. See, it's got the skin and chip. These are very good. This is the Smoky Robinson. It's amazing. Definitely very messy. The hype is well deserved. This burger is beautiful. The patty is so soft. It melts in your mouth. Extremely juicy. I can't fault this burger. That is perfection. It's very messy. Not a big fan of their mayo. Tastes a bit funky. Chips are perfect on their own. So sad this experience is over. Absolutely delicious. Buy in my mouth. Everything. There's a big hype surrounding the levels when it comes to patty and bun. In my opinion, that level is well warranted. Their burgers are simply delicious. Bold flavour, juicy, just, just great quality burgers. And their rosemary fries are a great compliment. The only downside is that their buns do get quite soggy. So on that basis, I'm gonna give Taste a four out of five. Staff were very friendly and didn't rush me. 
were actually quite uh, intrigued that I was vlogging in the space. They also handed me some wet wipes, which was very useful because these burgers, let me tell you, they are extremely messy to eat. It's impossible to eat tidy. So on that basis, I'm going to give customer service a four out of five. This space could do with a bit of a spring clean. The doormat was very manky. The downstairs area had a lot of clutter. The toilets, they had a lot of wet work on the floor and it also didn't smell fresh. Mind you, I didn't come at a very busy time, so there's no excuse for that. Other than that, the seating and bar area, they were pretty clean and I didn't get a good scope of the kitchen. So on that basis, I'm gonna give cleanliness a three out of five. I was feeling the music in this space. They were playing some decent jazz and soul joints, pretty decent. The venue as a whole is of a decent size, however, the seating arrangements would have you feeling very cramped in a busy period. Also, the furnishing was very dull looking and it looked like a Rottweiler had been mangling up some of the seats. So on that basis, I'm gonna give Ambience a two out of five. This is where the penny drops. I left this place still hungry. In fact, I went to another place to order food because I just wasn't satisfied. The bill came to nearly 12 pounds and that included a burger at half price. So given the fact that this is supposed to be a meal, it's not great value. Having said that, their patties are of great quality and as I previously stated, their burgers are absolutely delicious. So on that basis, I'm gonna give value a three and a half out of five. Would I give this place a hit? Yes, a definite thumbs up for this place. You might not leave there satisfied and full unless you add a lot of size to your meal to beef it up, but what it lacks in quantity, it overcompensates in quality. So it's definitely a firm thumbs up for me. So that's the end of my review. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about Patty and Bun, I've left their website in the description box below. You'll also find my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you've been Patty and Bun before, or any other burger joint for that matter, let me know about your experiences in the comments below. Make sure you check out my other videos there and there. So, till next time, peace! Whoa!